Good day, students. How are you? I hope you're doing fine in spite of the challenges we're facing today because of the pandemic. Today, we're going to have the continuation of the discussion about positive and negative message. But before that, let us have a short review. I will read some statements and you will identify whether the sentence is positive or negative. Are you ready? Number one, South Korea is the world leader in internet connectivity. What is the answer? Correct, it is positive. Number two, some recovered Korean patients tested positive again from COVID-19. What is the answer? Correct, it is negative. Number three, South and North Korea are still at war. What is the answer? Correct, it's negative. Number four, food delivery in South Korea can be considered as one of the best in the world. What's the answer? Correct, it's positive. And number five, Koreans have high respect on rules. What is the answer? Correct, it's positive. Good job class, I think you are now ready. Let us have our objectives for today. At the end of the lesson, you will be able to Letter A, value the message conveyed in a text. Letter B, construct paragraph expressing positive and or negative message. Letter C, use correct connectors in writing a sentence with positive and negative statement. This pandemic has given us an ample time to explore different streaming sites. Now, let us try to identify the different streaming sites available in the Philippines and in Asia. WeTV, iFlix, Netflix. Because of these streaming sites, K-dramas have invaded the whole world. I have here examples of themes, values, or lessons from well-known Korean series. Let us try to match them to the correct Korean series. Let us start. Sometimes, greed and despair breed a monster in every man. What is the Korean series? Correct, it's Sweet Home. Number two, life is full of dilemmas, but you can always find happiness in them. What is the correct Korean series? Correct, it's Descendants of the Sun. Number three, hope never dies and love never fails. What is the answer? Correct, it's crash landing on you. And number four, we cannot erase bad memories, but we can always create happy ones. What is the answer? Correct, it's okay to not be okay. Well done class. Now, I am going to introduce to you to my little friend, Maxi. Now, let us have our Korean short story Yumpu and Nobu. But before that, let us have first our guide question. Number one, what is the positive message that we can draw from the story? Number two, what is the negative message that we can draw from the story? And number three, what is the lesson that you have learned out of reading or listening to the story? Yumbu and Nobu. A Korean short story. Once upon a time, there was two brothers, Nolbu and Yungbu. Nolbu was rich but greedy. Yungbu was poor but generous. One day, Yungbu found a sparrow with a broken leg. He helped the bird and took it to his house. The bird got better and flew away. Later, the sparrow brought three gourd seeds to Yungbu. The gourd became so big. When Yungbu cut it open, a lot of gold coins came out. Nolbu heard the story and he also wanted the gold coins. He found a sparrow and broke its leg. The poor bird ran away and later brought three gourd seeds. The seeds grew and Nolbu cut them open. Suddenly, the devil came out 
and started beating Nolbu. Nolbu learned a lesson that he should not be greedy. Now I would like you to write your answers on your answer sheet. Now I would like you to take a look at the following sentences. Number one, Nolbu was rich but greedy. Number two, Yumbu was poor but generous. Now what have you noticed with the two sentences? The word rich is positive, while the word greedy is negative. In a second sentence, the word poor is negative, while the word generous is positive. In combining positive and negative word or statement, or negative and positive statement or word, we use the connector but. Like in the example sentence from the short story, we have rich but greedy and poor but generous. Now let us have the following sentences from the activity earlier. Greed and despair breed a monster in every man. And hope never dies and love never fails. In the example, greed and despair are both negative, while hope never dies and love never fails are both positive. That is why we are going to use the connector AND. Remember the formula. Positive, positive, AND. Negative, negative, AND. Positive, negative, BUT. Negative, positive, BUT. Going back to our short story, Yungbu and Nolbu, we have noted the following positive messages. Number one. Nobu was rich. Number two, Yungbu was generous. Number three, Yungbu helped the bird. And number four, Yungbu took care of the bird. Also, we have noted the following negative messages. Number one, Nobu was greedy. Number two, Yungbu was poor. Number three, Nobu thought of an evil idea against the sparrow. And number four, Nobu broke the bird's leg. Now, let us try to connect or combine the positive and the negative message. Let's start with number one. Nobu was rich and Nobu was greedy. If we are going to combine these two sentences, we are going to use but. Then, we are going to have the sentence, Nobu was rich but greedy. Now, let us try to combine the second negative message to the second positive message. We have Yumbu was poor and Yumbu was generous. If we are going to combine them, the sentence will be Yumbu was poor but generous. This time, we are going to combine positive message number three and positive message number four. Since we are going to combine two positive messages, we are going to use and. Sentence number three, Yungbu helped the bird. Number four, Yungbu took care of the bird. Then, it will be Yungbu helped the bird and took care of it. Let us combine two negative sentences. Please note that when combining two negative sentences, we are going to use the connector AND. Example, sentence number three. clear? Again, if we are combining two like ideas, statements, or sentences, we use AND. If we are going to combine unlike ideas, statements, or sentences, we use BUT. Now I would like you to get your answer sheet and finish the sentence, I have learned. Now let us check your understanding. It's writing time. I would like you to write 
a paragraph about Korean novellas. Let us review the steps in writing a simple paragraph. Number one, brainstorming. I would like you to write down all the positive things and the negative things that we might get in watching Korean drama. Number two, write an outline. Make sure that you have your introduction, body, and conclusion. Take note that your introduction must contain your central idea. Your body must contain the evidences that will support your central idea. And your ending must contain your conclusion. Step 3 is plotting. You are now going to write your paragraph. And lastly, we have revising and publishing. Please write your paragraph in a separate one whole sheet of paper. For our exam, please answer assessment on page 19. For your additional activity or assignment, I would like you to write a simple paragraph about the recent pandemic. Your paragraph must highlight the positive and the negative effects of the pandemic. Thank you, my little friend Maxi, for helping our students today. I hope that you have learned something from our discussion. Thank you and see you next time!